Alright. You you might be wondering why I am back here. Um, I said that I would show you last episode. I, I said I would show you what happens when you get caught, and I plan on doing just that. So, let's get caught. Oh, this goes against my all my nature. How can you not see me? There you go. Hey, bud. How you doing? I'm just taking a walk. Oh, you're gonna shoot the boulder. Oh, snap. And death. It is not a game over, but rather a loss of how many hearts? Let's see how many hearts. Where are our hearts? Come on. Heart meter, come back. Wow. So that cost us, what, two hearts? Three? So that's that's decent. I don't know why on earth I thought they launched a watermelon at you, as I said to Ryan last episode. But apples to apples, oranges to oranges, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's let's cut back to where we ended off last episode. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal Ladin, and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. I almost said Skyrim there. That's kind of funny. In the last episode, we lost all of our items, and also we had Ryan over, and it was very nice having him over. It was, it was cool. And in this episode, we are going to do the sort of the inter-dungeon stuff, even though we actually have not been in a dungeon for a long, long time. I really like this new new thing they're doing with Zelda, at least in Skyward Sword, where you know we don't necessarily have to do the the whole dungeon side quest pattern. It, it's really nice. Anyway, in this episode, um, I, you guys just saw what happens when you're caught by the Bokblins, and I am in the cave that I would I said I would try to show you guys, just to show you what's in here. Now, if you'll remember, this statue was already triggered by Ryan and I, and it gave us an evil crystal. Now, this actually proves that they give, that these statues give you the same thing every time, so next time I talk to Ryan, I'll answer his question about whether or not their item drops are random. But what's cool noting is that I didn't know this, but you can grind off these guys, it seems. Because you guys saw that we triggered this guy last episode. Um, this is the exact save file that I used last episode. I didn't, um, that wasn't like a second take. I didn't go back to show you guys what happens if you're caught. This is the same file. And so apparently if you trigger these guys, get their item, then quit, come back, They, you can trigger them again and get their item once again, which is really neat. Um, I don't abuse grinding in this Let's Play, although I have done it a couple times, but I don't, I'm not going to abuse it, use it and abuse it, like, actually, no, hardly, I don't know of any other peers that do that, I'm also stuttering, so I won't. But it's, it's worth noting in case you're not doing an LP, and you don't care about grinding. Okay, anyway, this guy says, I hear the dragon that lives at the top of the, vol of the volcano is awfully chatty. So chatty, they say, that he's even willing to talk about matters outside of his own realm. Interesting, so at the end of this video, I'll show you guys a clip of what he says. Now, I'm going to leave now, leave this cave, because it has nothing for us. It's really interesting. They they intended for this area to be here only after you get the bombs, and then you can restock on those. But the funny thing is, is that you don't get the beetle. At least, I don't think you do. So, you actually can't get up here in the um, after your items have been stolen. You have to get them all back before you can come back up here. And there is nothing up here. Literally, there is nothing up here at all. It's just some bombs and some pots. And nothing. I've played the harp around there. I've done Skyward Strikes to see if maybe there's a goddess wall. There is literally nothing. So, actually, there might be something. Just, just I'm sorry. Let me, let me check this. Stalling. I didn't want to get stuck here for too long. Let me fly this into the wall, see what happens. Yeah, see, nothing. So, I'm not going to go up there because I don't want to take the effort. And there is nothing up there. So, yeah. Now, we are back down here because there is one thing. We've gotten all the goddess chests, to my knowledge. I've checked and rechecked the list, and I didn't see any that we haven't gotten. Now, if there are, just tell me, but, like, I can even use dowsing. And there are no readings. 
So we've gotten everything. Oh my word. Man, you guys scared me. I forgot that I didn't kill you. Oh, and you dropped a treasure. But there is one piece of heart that we didn't get. I did point it out, so you guys probably n remember where it is. But we didn't get it because we did not have the magma mitts? Magma mitts? Magma mitts, right? I thought they're called... No, magma mitts, okay. The last ones were the digging mitts, I think. So, yeah. We didn't have the magma mitts, so we weren't able to get it. It's just right along here. I'm showing this because, really, I've, I think I've done enough cutting for a while. Just because, you know, if, if you guys were watching this game for the first time, I probably have shown some of this, of my traversing the landscape a couple times, but then I would just cut. And that's not good if you're new to the game and, you know, you, you have to see this, these places crossed multiple times. And be careful right there, because I've jumped over this and gone lava. Anyway, so I'm going to be trying to show more traversal. Get away from me. Get away. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I said ow after I bumped the mic. I don't think that hurt. Okay. So we'll just jump over here. Across here. Ow. I, <laughs> I said ow as I bumped the mic yet again. The mic is not an extension of my body, I don't think. Yeah, I just pinched the mic, and it didn't do anything, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... In here, by the entrance to the fire sanctuary, the first room, as you leave, is a, um... Is a gossip stone. Or, sorry, not a gossip stone. A Sheikah stone. Actually? And he says that there's a piece of heart. And I need to borrow, like, a magma. But are these gossip stones? Gossip, did they say the name? No shit, wow. Fee does not say the name of these. That's very interesting. Huh. I would not have expected that. Fee actually doesn't say the name of one of one thing in the game. Anyway, that's really weird. But I'm going to call them Gossip Stones, and I'm going to call the guide things that I showed off in the clip um, Sheikah Stones, because that just makes more sense. Now, I'm going to grab... Uh, no, I don't want a fairy, really. I'll, I'll grab him just to refill my hearts, but I don't need a fairy. But in here is a piece of heart. And although it doesn't look like it, we are only one piece of heart away from getting all of the heart containers. You got, if you guys don't remember, you're probably like, what? But the reason being, I mean, we have 17 hearts right now, but two of the heart containers are gotten through carrying life metals. We don't have any on us, so I can't show that off, but I, I have in the past. But yeah, they are gotten through getting life medals. So we're really close to 100% completion. Very, very close. So I'm going to... um, How do I want to do this? Let's not go to Skyloft, because we don't need anything there. We're going to go straight to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Um, where is it? There it is. So we're going to go straight to the Lumpy Pumpkin. I will cut there, but... Um, I will cut there, but because it's in the sky... You know, you guys probably won't mind, because really, there's... You guys just have to go from point A to point B. I don't have to show you how to go there. So, be right back. And Jerome. Hey, Kina. How you doing? <laughs> Why I look like I'm about to tackle you? Oh, um, it's it's part of a uh uh new thing. <laughs> I don't know. Kina. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks for helping me carry the pumpkins the other day. Thanks to you, we're ready to plant the new seeds. The only thing is, plowing the patch so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. If only there was someone who was really good at plowing the field. Hmm. I think the magmas might be able to fit the bill. Really? If that's the case, I'd love to ask this person to help me out. If you find this person, please tell them to come and find me right away, okay? I calculate 90%
chance that this request is in some way connected to the gratitude crystals. Your dowsing ability can be calibrated to locate the person who will plow the pumpkin patch for this girl. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, the, uh, the target will be removed when you switch to this target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wish to set your dowsing target as a person to plow the pump pumpkin patch? Yes, I do. Understood, Master. I will set your dowsing target to find an individual who can plow the pumpkin patch. I didn't do that on fast forward. I, I think I'm kind of bad at talking fast, but... Actually, try saying plow the pumpkin patch three times fast. Garen, nah, you probably can. Whenever someone I give that challenge to anyone, they do it, and I just lose money on the bet. <laughs> is there is there really someone who'd help me out? Well, I'll try to keep my hopes up and just wait here patiently until they show up. So this is the third to last side quest, and we're gonna take this pumpkin with us and smash it on our heads. Now we actually have to go straight back to Elden. One of the reasons why I cut because just there's gonna be backtracking this episode. I can guarantee it. So, I'll meet you when we're closer to the Elden region. If only we could go through the cloud barrier this way. But we can't. And in fact, Tornado is there. Interesting. So, we're back. We're over near Elden. Now, where you want to drop down, once we get there... I believe it's Volcano Ascent, I think. It's right smack dab in the middle of the map. So, let's see. So it is Volcano East, Volcano Entry, Volcano, no, that's not it. It's Volcano East, I think. Let's try that. Descend into this area? Yeah. And I was drinking water. <laughs> Man, ice water's so good. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so let's get our dowsing ready for pumpkin patch plower. Try saying that one three times fast. Sheesh, Nintendo. Okay, so it's straight down in the ground. No, it's not in the lava. We're not getting a Magmanos. We are, um, we are going into this spire. I kind of wish this had a name. Actually, you, you, they could have named it Mother and Child Rock after um, after Wind Waker and also Twilight Princess. So, let's jump. Can we backflip? Can't. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Oh. <sighs> um. Note, you need to skydive into here. You need to ro do a running jump. <sighs> because you have to land on that pillar. Yeah. Hey, Silva. Whoa, there, it's my old pal. Hey, he said her name. How you been, old pal? Hey, he said her name again. Or my name. Me? Uh, my claws are sharp. My nose is turned into treasure. Yep, I'm say I'd say I'm high flying, man. One thing's got me worried though. See our elder gold. That's a horrible pun. He should be ash his mother should be ashamed. Has been acting kind of odd since going to these ruins. Would you go and see gold? He's over that away somewhere, and I know he'd be happy to see your mug dog. Okay. Gold is up there. So I have to backtrack all the way up here. Hey, buddy, you're wearing a beret. Actually, no, he looks like... <laughs> he looks like one of the doctors. <laughs> like, I don't know which number. It's below five. I think it's like... Oh, maybe four, I think. Whichever the one has the weird bull cut, but he looks like one of the doctors. Uh, let's snake through here, over here through here and around here can we do that oh no we can't i'm really glad i didn't have my shield equipped for that uh bomb boom and run it's kind of nice I'm, I'm showing backtracking again i kind of miss this i get to 
talk to you guys. I mean, that's one thing I've noticed about some of the... N well, not the new LPers, but... <laughs> that's kind of the opposite of what I was going to say. But about some of the, uh... The se more seasoned LPers, I guess I could say. Is that they tend to, um cut a little bit too much like they try to show only things that have to do with the game where are we going um around here they have to do with the game and we just don't really get enough of them time i guess you could say you don't get to you know have them talk about random stuff they just talk about the game and that's i i don't like that anymore i mean not anymore but i just don't like that really i like it when they show some of the the non-game stuff where it's just going from point A to point B and they get to talk. I think that's part of the whole experience and oh man, we've seen you before gold. Hey buddy. It looks like you have the uh the jetpacks on. Yeah, I just like being able to talk with my viewers, not just be a video walkthrough. Okay, anyway, gold. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a little while. So, we meet again, eh? I got to thank you for your help last time. See, I've been searching for new treasure spots, but I can't find a single bobble or bit of treasure. Maybe I'm just getting woozy from spending, from working so long in this heat. Sometimes I wish I could find a job that really played to my strengths. Yeah, something in a cool climate. Then I'd be set. Keep dreaming? Oh man, that's mean. Um, yeah, old timer, I know a place. So you know a place with work that I'd be good at? And it's in the sky. I love the sky! It took him that long to think of think that over. Where do I sign up? I'm telling you, I'm in. Let's do this thing. This individual's capabilities match perfectly to the types of duties expected of an employee at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Do you want to call the robot and transport this individual? Yes, I do. Call Scrapper. Master, I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. Scrapper, what's up? I don't like you and you don't like me, but one way or another, you're going to carry stuff for me. Well, I guess you're carrying stuff for Fee, since she's the one talking with you. Mr. Fee, I'm here. Oh, you want me to carry this old thing? You don't have to tell me twice. I think my robot noises have gotten much better. They've been honed. Oh man, he's... He's excited. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. And to the sky! It looks like he has. It looks like Gold has a propeller and jetpacks. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and accompany the Magma to his destination quickly. So to do that, let's just go back here. Not this way. This way? Where? This way? That way? That way? Go this way. It's really too bad that we can't fly up from here. I would think that you could, because look, there's, can't really see it here, but there's, there's sky up there. They could just put, position the, the uh, bird statue right here, and had you just fly straight up. That would've been so cool. But anyway, I'm going to fast forward to the sky, since you guys already saw this backtracking, so backtracking the same direction twice in one episode, that's, that's pushing it a little bit, so I'll be right back. Ah, wonderful water. Oh, I, I cut back this early because this looks like an arrow. <laughs> I thought I pointed it out. It's an arrow. See, it's pointing to the... Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... That, that struck me as cool. I, I know it's just a tile, and it probably is not meant to be an arrow, but it looks like an arrow. But you even stand on it. That's cool. Or maybe I'm just a silly individual who is excited by the really simple things in life. It could be either or, but let's just say that it was really good to game design, and I noticed it, and no one else did, so I'm awesome. Let's 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 stick with that. Never mind. Let's not stick with that story. You don't want to lie. And I just realized that I was sick burning myself there. I was actually... Man, that, that was just meaner than I was to... <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> when he was over. Now, yeah, 
I, I didn't really talk about this on an episode, so I'm going to talk about it now. I did mention it in the description of the video, but in episode 52? 52. Um, I, I sounded really, really mean to Ryan. Like, really, uh, we're going the wrong way. Wow. Wow, look how far off course we were. Okay, um, just because I'm apparently a little bit of a, a dunce. Let's, let's write this. Let's get, engrave an invitation so we can find our way. There we go. I'll probably leave a beacon on L Lumpy Pumpkin forever, but anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, mean to Ryan. I was being a little bit mean to mean to him. I I did apologize to him, and he said he never really noticed. But I did in post, and I I really feel bad about that. I did not mean to sound that mean. Uh, I think it was because that was the third episode we recorded that day, and I've never recorded three episodes in one sitting ever before. Actually, no, I may have. No, 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 I've, I've recorded four. Because I did retakes. So yeah, I've recorded four. Okay, so I have. But still, both of us were really eager to get to, get to Smash and Super Smash Bros. Project M. That's a mod, by the way. Um, cough, cough. But yeah, we were really excited to get to Smash. So yeah, I think I, think I was just being a little bit impatient. I did listen to his commentary in the, I don't know, first eight minutes of episode 52, and I was I was laughing. Not because, like, I thought it was bad or anything, but because, but because um, of how funny his Magma voice was. That was hilarious. Also, were you guys cra uh, laughing your head off when he did the, uh, the Fledge voice? That was really hilarious. Next time he's on, even if it's not for Skyward Sword... We have to, we, yes, we, we have to bring that voice back, because that was hilarious. We were in stitches the whole time. You, you guys remember that I, I missed maybe the first five, six shots of that mini game, of the arrow shooting mini game? That was because I was laughing. And I know I'm kind of just talking to you guys, but um, you should have seen Ryan, Ryan's brother, his younger brother. Man, he he had like his, his mouth like in the crook of his elbow elbow because he didn't want to burst out laughing and interrupt the recording and my sister Nova was just cracking up it was it was hilarious sorry to go off on kind of a tangent like that but I, I don't know I just want to share some good times I brought the old magma now let me try that one again now let me try that one more time there we go third time's the charm there he is he looks like a superhero from the sky Send my best to Phoebe. Zat. Yay! You found someone, didn't you? Wait. Uh, wait a second. This isn't a person. Oh, so ah, so you're saying that this mole's going to plow the patch for me? Come on. Are you seriously trying to get me to work on a field all day? Is that why you hauled me all the way up here into the sky? <laughs> well, good luck, Mr. Mole Man. What? But you... Well, I suppose. I guess I could at least give it a try. Hey, so what do you think? Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Ha, huh. you think? Well, it was nothing, really. Rooting around in the dirt is child's play for us magmas. Wow, one more time, please. Again. Again. That's that's a little bit too excited there, Kina. I mean, he's just... I, well, I guess Pum and Kina take their pumpkins very seriously, I guess. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grant her that. Oh, yeah, here I go. I am so grateful that you brought this lovely guy to help me. I'm going to ask him to help with all kinds of things. Thank you very, very, very much. Link is the idol of three girls. Well, I guess because one of them's a goddess, she's his idol. <laughs> funny way of putting it, but actually that's... Uh, I don't know. That's not really funny. But anyway, uh, that is going to be it, it for this episode. We've hit almost exactly 25 minutes, so yeah. It's probably more like 27 or 28 because of 
the extra videos. Oh, by the way, you guys stay tuned after I end it off because there's going to be a small bonus vid video at the end of this video uh, where it shows us talking to Elden and seeing what he has to say because he does have a good deal to say. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Skyward Sword where we will do one more side quest and talk to Batro to get our reward. And then we can go see uh, the Lanera region and try to find the dragon there. See you guys then. Can I jump off here? Yeah. I can. Yes, you appear as if summoned. Young hero, do you wish to ask a question of me? Volcano? Yes, this mountain was not always such a dangerous and unforgiving place. There was a time when those above ground and those below lived together in harmony by the blessing of the great mountain. The desolation that you see now is all that remains to remind us of those glorious days. What else? Water dragon. Yes, the water dragon. You see, the goddess gave the water dragon the power pr to protect the woods. That power is strong, but the will of the dragon is even, even stronger. You may want to be careful with that one, lest you be eaten like an appetizer. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That was the fakest laugh I've ever had, and I'm sorry. Okay, Thun Thunder Dragon. Ooh. Thunder Dragon. Yes, yes, the Thunder Dragon. The goddess gave the Thunder Dragon the power to protect the desert. This dragon possesses a legendary shield. It is truly one of its, one of its most prized treasures. It is said that the Thunder Dragon delights in testing those with promise, in the hopes of someday, someday finding a, a worthy recipient, recipient, recipient <laughs> for the shield. But the dragon is a wily one, and his test is not as simple as it may appear. Ha! <laughs> there, one laugh. Okay, that's the end of this episode. Okay, see you guys next time for another Pal Play Skyward Sword. Good night.